Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all. Oh, fast. What's your name, bro? Mike. Mike. All right, so what we're going over right now is teaching our people how marriage is honorable and how marriage would stop all these single homes. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when, when a house is single, it's one parent in there, it's more time for that kid to go out and do craziness. And we see that all throughout Chicago. Uh, these single moms is, is raising monsters. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. Why do you think marriage is, is, marriage is honorable? Uh, a man and a woman, right? you child the world. Right, right, right. Are you married? No. Single? No. You got a friend with benefits, like my brother right here? And the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Uh, do you think a whoremonger is? What do you think a whoremonger is? Sleeping with a lot of women. What do you got, Mike? Sleeping with a lot of women. You don't even have to be with a lot of women at the same time. It could be a woman this time, three, four months later, another woman. That's a whoremonger. What do you think God does to whoremongers? Because listen, read that part again. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge these men that's doing it. How do you think he's going to judge them? No, how do you think he's going to judge them? Because they didn't do the right thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. He will. Like, say you sleep with somebody white. And the husband come home. What can happen? He could kill him. That could be the judgment of God. Say you sleep with uh, somebody sleeping with your wife, and you come home. Same thing, right? You can put him to death. But then what? You in jail. Judgment of God. But well, here's another way he can judge you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee, until thou be destroyed. Give me some diseases. Some plagues that the Most High has given our people. AIDS. AIDS. All that runs rapid through our community, don't it? Because you know what I'm saying? We was raised and brought up to think that the more women you got, the more of a man you is, right? That's all lies, man. That's why it says marriage is honorable. Because that that shows you an honorable man. Because you took that one woman and you married her. Hey, sister, you hear this? Because this is what we are here to teach. We are here to teach the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans that we have to come back to God's law. Right. Because we are the children of Israel, God's chosen people. And marriage is honorable. That's an honorable thing. When you marry a woman, it's a, a husband and wife, now you start to build a nation. That's why we're so separated here in Chicago. Because all these homes are single family homes. Right. It's nothing but separation here in Chicago. That's why it's so much hatred. That's why it's so much killing. You know, that's a good question. But in the beginning, there was supposed to be no divorce. When you marry a woman, that's supposed to be forever. We can get to that. Keep reading, though. Read again. And also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. So now, you said herpes, you said gonorrhea. We can get all these things from being a hormone. The clinic stay full of our people. A lot of these other nations run these clinics. A lot of these stores that we have in our community is run by a lot of different people, man. All this stuff is put, it's designed to put us in the states where we need them. Because if we was married to one woman, you wouldn't have to worry about her. If, if uh, the husband and wife was honorable to one another, you wouldn't have to worry about AIDS. You wouldn't have to worry about gonorrhea. You wouldn't have to worry about wearing condoms. We wouldn't have to do that in our neighborhood. It'd be a father and a mother raising the, raising the children in the house. And we wouldn't have all the gang violence, all the drug selling in our communities. 
That's why marriage is honorable. And, and that's why we have to come back to his laws. You, you know it that you're an Israelite, but you got a friend with benefits. You couldn't get one of these judgments. Because that friend could be out doing whatever the hell she wanted to do. You know, because she has no loyalty to you. Same thing with you, Mike. She could be out doing whatever she wanted to do. You said you don't even know where she at right now. <laughs> exactly. And see, when we have that mentality, what what, what, what we going to do? We're going to go out and do what we want to do now. Right. And that continues the cycle. Go back to that, Hebrews. Go back to that. Read it again. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Hey, sis, you married? No? You got a boyfriend? See, you falling in soul. See, see, see the cycle that's going on? It's from the young to the old. Because give me that in Hosea 4 and 6. This is the reason why this cycle continues from the young generation to the old generation. Because we follow these Christian churches. These Christian, Christian churches teach us lies. Read what you got. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. You hear that? That's why it's so much gang violence, so much drug dealing in our community. Read it again. My people. He said, my people. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said, my people. You are his people, but are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He said, you're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You know what some of that lack of knowledge is? Marriage is honorable. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.